Hey YouTube, this is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to play Gorilla on guitar. So, here are the chords. I'll show you how to make them at the end of the video. But, let's start. So we're going to play a B minor for the intro. Before the words come in. So, when the first verse starts, it goes B minor for one measure. A major for one measure, G major for one measure, B flat, C, and that goes for the first two beats, and then the second two beats, beats three and four, before going back to B minor. So on the second time around, we're going to go B minor for one measure. A, and then D. So we're going to play A for the first two beats, D for beats three and four, before going to G again for one measure, B flat, C. So just like before, going half a measure each. After that, we're going to play an F sharp minor for one measure. B minor for one measure, E major for one measure, E minor for one measure, and then we're going to go G, A, and then we're into the chorus. So let me play all of that together. So we got B minor. into the chorus. So that was all of the verse, and that's going to be the same way for verse 2 as well. So here we go. We're on the chorus now. We're going to play D for one measure, C for one measure, Then you're going to play verse 1 again, and you're going to play the chorus again. So it's very straightforward. Uh, let me play that chorus one more time for you guys. Sixteenth notes, you're going to say three E and a four E and a. So that's going to be three E and a four E and a. Like that. So after the second chorus, you're going to go to the bridge. The bridge is going to be F sharp minor for one measure. And this is, they have this little um, riff that happens. I didn't really transcribe that. So you're playing F sharp for the first measure. And then you get that on the B minor, then A, back to F sharp minor, same thing again, B minor, A. So that's going to be F sharp minor for one measure, B minor for the first two beats, and then A for beats three and four. 
and then you're going to do a G7. For one measure, just playing on the downbeats. One, two, three, four. And then you hold it, and you're going to go for the rest of the measure, just rest. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to play the chorus again. Still playing those chords, kind of softer though. I would just end it that way. End on the D chord. I gotta say, this is the most interesting song for chords that I've heard a long, in a long time for pop music. Bruno Mars knows what he's doing. Anyways, so here's how you make these chords. We're going to play B minor like this. First finger barring across fret 2 from the A through high E strings. Taking your third and fourth fingers, placing them behind fret 4 of the D and G strings. And then your second finger is going to grab fret 3 on the B string, strumming the A through high E strings. B minor. And then A is like this. First finger behind the second fret of the G string. 2nd finger behind the 2nd fret of the D string, 3rd finger behind the 2nd fret of the B string, strumming the A through high E strings. G is like this, 1st finger behind the 2nd fret of the A string, 2nd finger behind the 3rd fret of the low E string, 3rd and 4th fingers grab fret 3 on the B and high E strings, strum all 6 strings. B-flat is like this, B-flat major is going to be 1st finger on the 1st fret of the A string, and then frets 3 on the D, G, and B strings. I like to use this mini bar with my 3rd finger, but you can do whatever you need to to make that happen. C is like this, 1st finger on the 1st fret of the B string, 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the D string, 3rd finger on the 3rd fret of the A string, strumming the A through high E strings, gives you a C chord. D goes like this, 1st finger, 2nd fret, G string, 3rd finger, 3rd fret, B string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret, high E string, strumming the A through high E string. D. Let's see what else. Okay, F sharp minor goes like this, going to bar across all six strings on the second fret with your first finger, and then your third and fourth finger is going to get frets four on the A and D strings. And you're playing all six. I like to use my second finger there to help out. Then we're going to do E. E is like this. First finger, first fret of the G string, third finger, 2nd fret of the D string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret of the A string, strumming all 6, E minor, you just take your 1st finger off, and you have E minor. What else does this song have? G7, ooh. You can play G7 as an open chord, but it doesn't have the same sound as the G7 that he's doing, so we're going to play it like this, 1st finger bars the 3rd fret, and then your second finger is going to get fret 4 of the G string. Your third finger is going to get fret 5 of the A string. And you're going to strum all six. Make sure you can hear the D string because that's the note that makes this chord a 7 chord, G7. And I think that's all the chords in the song. Yep. If you have any questions, let me know. I know I didn't talk too much about the rhythms, but they're not too hard. You just listen to them and try to match them, and you should be able to get it. It's hearing the different chords in the song that's kind of difficult. It's, it's kind of strange, the, the B flat to C to B minor, especially in the verses. Okay, 
I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. Again, if you got any questions, let me know, and any suggestions too. I'll see you next time.